What is the crack, ladies and gentlemen? It's Gibbo Air here with another episode of World of Warcraft on the Chronos 2 server. Hey, all down! Okay, I'm dead. Fucking whoop de doo Um, What's been happening is, is basically, I thought I was recording earlier on. I recorded about a 10 minute segment, and then I realized I wasn't. So, you know, genius that I am. So pretty much what happened was, we handed in our quest up in Ruthrin Village. And then, I have googled how to get the mana for Zulfaric. So, remember the altar of Zul that we found in the entrance? There you go. That's how you do it. So, I went back and I had a look. Uh, and I thought I was recording it this time. So, I cleared out, like, three mobs around the top. And then two mobs coming down the stairs. And I tried to solo one of the mobs. So, I throwing knife pulled one. And then used line of sight at the bottom of the temple to get the mob to actually come to me. And it did. It worked. Except for the fact that the mob is, like, level 50 and elite and shit all over me. Um, so, that didn't go so well. I kind of wish I had been recording. It was actually kind of funny. But anyway, there's no one in Hinterlands at the moment. There was three people as I was leaving, and one of them was me, so... Can't really get any help to do it either. Uh, I could try, like, general... Or, sorry, world chat and all that shit, but I I'm not really bothered. Um, it, it was just kind of, like, more general intrigue than nothing else that I went to have a look at it. So we came back here anyway, and we're going to try our hand at this quest here. So the Scrimshank Redemption. And this is when I realized that I wasn't recording. Um, so I've spent about 15 minutes doing this. Uh, I went to pause it so I could go get a cup of tea. Yes, it says Bazinga. And upon my arrival back, I noticed that the wee little red button that should be white, now that I'm not recording, wasn't even there, which means that it's not recording. So, hooray! I've spent about 10-15 minutes running around the gaping chasm. I didn't even hover over it there. I just remembered just by looking at it. But there you go. The Gaping Chasm. I've spent about 10-15 minutes running around the Gaping Chasm. Around at the top. And then eventually I figured out. Since it says. You know. Scrimshank Redemption. Obviously it's a reference to the Shawshank Redemption. So my figuring was. Is that the mob that I'm looking for. Or at least the NPC. Is probably buried somewhere underground. Or imprisoned. Since there's no kind of prison structures up here. And these being Silphids. Underground popped into my head. Because I've seen the two tunnels that enter the underground area. I just put two and two together. So I've died about three or four times now. Just running around. around because the mobs are like level 50 and shit like that. And they have been finding me. And it, it does kind of suck. <laughs> so this is what? Death number 5 I think now. Death number 5. How's my gear looking? Probably fucked. So anyway, when we get down, we're gonna... I've found it now, by the way. That was my last death, was I actually found it. And you know what? I was just about to get diluted. Just about to get diluted. And then a mob killed me. Uh, I killed one of these workers, and I was just like, Hey, finally, I'm going to get to actually start the quest after eating some quail. Right-clicked my quail, which, you know, has since now gone to waste. And, of course, didn't the little tiny parasite things that they spawn hit me and finish me off. I was just like, what's hitting me? Where, where am I taking damage from? And it's like, ah. Oh. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. So anyway, we're going to make our way down here. So for anyone that is looking to do this quest, <laughs> I want a bit of information regarding how to get it done nice and fast. At least find it nice and fast. As you come down one of these two tunnels entrances and you make your way to what I can only describe as a, oh, you'll see it now, a butterfly shaped tunnel. <laughs> see if you can see there, you got the little wing and it comes around. Or looks like kind of like a Pillow, I guess. Or a tooth? No, yeah, butterfly is the only way really to describe that, isn't it? I suppose these are insects, so, yeah. And we'll make our way in here. Okay. I was just short of Googling this one. Just short of it. Yeah, okay, right. I got caught over there somewhere, and I ran over here, and it was a kind of, OH MY GOD, I FOUND IT moment! And, yay. Oh, okay. So I said I'd go off and get a cup of tea, come back and get my body, and then try this again, and then... Problems. Problems. Right. Let's get our health up. We'll kill this tunneler, and then from there, we're gonna see whether or not this is an escort quest, or whether or not I can just get out of here. It would be nice just to get out of here. <laughs> I don't particularly think we'll be up for doing a, an escort quest on our way through here. I'm gonna make our way over to this little fucker now. I say little fucker, he's a big fucker. Oh. It's too far away. Okay, you see the old stealth. Yeah, as you can see, because of the level of the mobs, just ain't doing shit. <laughs> Which is making this quite hard. Making this quite hard. Okay. Right, okay. Keeps uh, slicing dice up. Things around there. 
Oh, yeah, this is what I mean. This little bastard here, you see him? He just comes out of nowhere. He's like, oh, surprise, motherfucker. And then he hits you a slap. It's like, oh, man. No, it's not cool. That ain't cool. Right. We found his equipment. So I don't know if this is going to start an escort quest or not. But I'm, you know, short on health. But it'll be fine. We can get it back. Is he going to pop out? No, he's not. It just respawns. Okay, Grant. I'm going to make my way back to Gadget Sand. We're going to hand this quest in. So, blah. All right, we made it out. So now we're just going to get up here and we're going to mount up. But there's a couple of things I want to talk about anyway. A couple of things. One thing, really. Thing that obviously needs to be discussed uh, regarding the server and shit like that with the release of Legion. Um, so just as a kind of like for people who are intrigued as to the effect that it appears to have had on the server so far now since its release. Definitely noticeable. Um, not going to paint it any other way. There is a definite decrease in population numbers. Oh, hang on. Wait, what is it doing? It was saves where it took some hours. It's nice. <laughs> God damn, ominous. Um, yeah, no, there's been a definite decrease in server population since the uh, expansion has dropped. Uh, you can you can notice it straight away. Uh, even like the amount of people talking in world chat when you're trying to get any group quests done or anything like that. Um, a really obvious, noticeable change in the the amount of people that are actually present. Uh, like I said, even in the hinterlands, which not normally is a not normally a populated area anyway, so let's let's I suppose take that with a pinch of salt. Like, but there was three people there. I think the last time I was there, there was maybe 10, 15, but there was three. <laughs> now it is a weekday as well and all, but obviously Legion is going to have an impact on the server's population as people are going to go and go and try it. Me being one of them, uh, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop playing on this server. I like Vanilla WoW a lot. I like kind of working my way back through all the storyline and all that shit here, and kind of trying to remember how things used to work and shit. Okay, and then we're just going to point ourselves in the direction of Gadget Sand. But it's definitely had a, an effect on it anyway. Uh, it, it's a noticeable one at that. But hey oh, we'll see what happens. Uh, my plan is, anyway for the day, we are going to continue questing in this area. We're going to try and get as many of these quests done as possible. I could just head to wherever this is meant to be. I think this is just to our left now, actually, so... Hang on. This will grow up valley. No, actually, I think that maybe uh, might be along here. So break short. Yeah, no, I think I think it is around here. We're gonna we'll veer this way and make our way over yonder. And then if it's there, we're gonna try and get those quests done as well. And then we'll go back to Gadget Sand and hand all those quests in. And then we just kinda have to figure out where we're gonna start questing from here on. We still need to get a sulfuric group going. That's why I wanted to see if I could get that mallet to make it more likely that somebody would take me on a group. Because, you know, not because I'm not it, because I've got the mallet. Um and also because it would be nice to actually have it as well, so we can get that guy's real quest done. But, um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people kind of running Sulfuric now at the moment. Like, you can see one person there who said anyone for Sulfuric, but it's, it's pretty much just that one person. Maybe one other at any other time. But the actually getting the groups together doesn't seem to be happening for some reason. I don't know whether it's because of the mallet issue and all that kind of bullshit, but, um... They, they just don't seem to be going, really, at the moment. I'm seeing loads of groups going for all sorts of other dungeons. Um, like all the usual ones, the dad mites. <laughs> But, um, doesn't seem to be sulfuric groups going, so it's kind of, uh, mm. Anyway, we're going to make our way over here and see if we can find this other thing, so anyway. Oh, so I was just reading this quest here, and it says look for a cactus garden, so I reckon we've found it. <laughs> oh, there's something crashed over there. And we're going to make our way towards that, and so I reckon we might actually get a quest out of that, whatever it may be. There might be a goblin sitting there being like, quickly, kid out of these. Uh, we need to kill eight gnarled thistle shrubs and thistle shrub root shapers. Shouldn't be too bad. Although I am intrigued as to what this is. We're going to make our way over to it anyway and investigate. Um, oh, there doesn't appear to be anyone here. Unless he's just on the other side of it there and I just can't see him. Nah, this may be a part of a different quest, or maybe it's just here for visual aesthetic. Right. I mean, we're looking for a, a Jew-laden gland, I believe. Okay, look for the cactus garden. That's where you'll find the, the Jew-laden, or Jew collectors. Okay. I reckon the thistle grubs and the Jew collectors may be one and the same. Either that or thistle thistle grubs. <laughs> thistle shrubs. I keep saying thistle grub. Oh, here's the Jew collector. Okay, right. Quickly read the quest. 
Root shapers and gnarled ones. Alright, well, anyway, we're gonna kill one of these root shapers real fast. So maybe we can get that uh, thing for the guy. I'm out of range. Can I put bleeds on these? No, because they're elementals, right? Well, anyway, let's learn. That's fine. We missed out on a few combo points, but it ain't gonna be so bad. Not can I? No, I can't put a bleed on them at all. Right, that kind of blows. We keep slicing dice up anyway, and what we may just go for is a big, massive eviscerate towards the end. Or we'll just keep slicing dice up. I don't know. One or, one or the other, or a combination of both. Yeah, we'll just keep slicing dice up. That'd be safer. No kick. Yeah. Happy days. I wonder what the drop rate is like on this. Oh, there's a lot of juke collectors, so I don't think we're really gonna have too much of an issue with it. Uh, they drop herbs that we're gonna be able to sell, which is pretty sweet. Mm, God, we're gonna run out of quails soon. Oh yeah, in terms of loot, actually, uh, things did drop off mobs while we were there. We got the wild vine, blah, 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 wild vine potion recipe dropped off a troll, and the same troll actually dropped darkness orb of whatever, and a load of cloth and stuff like that. So it was kind of a loot intense troll, which was pretty sweet. Okay, we're gonna run out of poison here soon, but it doesn't matter. We'll be fine. No, let's be smart about this. <laughs> I'm getting getting enough stress off these high-level mobs. Oh man, I think like basically my memory of the game only extends really to Stranglethorn, and then once it gets to Stranglethorn, it's like I don't really remember what I did for the next X amount of levels. I think because uh, we all kind of had that kind of... No, I, I'm a moron. Uh, we all kind of got a character to 30 or so pretty much and every time and then stopped. I think everyone's gotten a few characters to that level, but the gap then in between that to 60... No, not really that used to it. don't really know where I'm going with it. <laughs> so I don't really know where to proceed in terms of questing from here. I could read guides and shit like that, but... That wouldn't be true to form as what my experience was of it back in the day, so I'm just going to keep figuring out as I go along here. Okay. I'll stay on this anyway for another half an hour or so, and then I'm planning on... I've got shit to do, so I'm going to go and... Am I meant to, like, use an item on this shit or something? Like, maybe. No. No, we just got to kill them until one of them drops it, so maybe there is a really low drop road. Uh, drop. Drop rate. Sick. So much identity. Anyway. But anyway, um... Yeah, no, I'm gonna go get my hair cut and fucking uh, go to the gym and... I, th I have a day off today, so I'll come back later and I'll probably hop on retail. So my plan with retail, if I am gonna make a thing about it, and I, I'm gonna play it for a little while first before I decide whether or not I like it enough to make a series about it. Because I may play it for ten minutes and then be like... I did a dungeon last night on... Uh, oh, hey. M for ZF. Smiley face. Um, did I just put a space after the question mark? Yes, yeah, I did. Oh, that hurt myself. It'll be fine. No, oh, kick. Hey! Fantastic. Anyway, um... Well, we might postpone... What are you? A warrior? Oh, that's nice. Maybe he's a thing. Oh, hey, look. Scroll of strength. Grom's blood. Fantastic. Right. Um, I may postpone going to, uh the barbers now, actually, so I can get this done. It would be nice to finally get ZF knocked out of the park. We're gonna cheat shot this time, because yeah, or not, you know, it's it's fine. I didn't I didn't want to really, to be honest with you. I'm gonna pop evasion. Uh, my reason being is I just want to make myself a bit more survival when I'm doing these mobs. That way I can just kind of keep going at them. It's got a three and a half minute cooldown, so I don't really mind using it that often. That's okay. Oh, he's got an earth grab totem. That's, that's what's slapping me around the place. So that's the plan for today, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test out Legion as to whether or not I actually like it. So I did a, a group on my Paladin, um, not my actual one. It turns out I have a Paladin and a Priest at level 100. Who, who figured? I forgot. Uh, don't remember leveling a Priest to 100 at all, but hey, <laughs> maybe I got hacked and somebody did it for me, who knows? <laughs> but no, not at all, all my gear is still there. I, I checked, I got paranoid about it. My friend had to remind me that I leveled the fucking Priest. It's been 11 months since I played on retail, wow, that's, that's how long we're fucking gone now at this stage. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna test it out a bit more and see if I actually enjoy playing on it before I decide whether or not I'm gonna make a series on it, because I think that's... That's pretty much got to be the deciding factor. It's whether or not I'm actually enjoying it. Hey, we might actually get a group for this for once. Okay, but in which case, I will postpone getting my head shaved. 
Oh man, I'm one of these simple haircut kind of guys. I don't really get any of that fancy kind of shit done. Nothing wrong with that fancy shit. I think it looks good. And if I had the hair for it, which you can see, I've got this crazy curly hair. Um, there's nothing wrong with getting all those kind of like fancy haircuts and all that kind of shit done. It's just that I've never really had the hairstyle for it. Maybe I should rephrase that. I'm just so fucking lazy. I can't be arsed maintaining my hair in a style that would suit it. I prefer just to kind of shave my head and just kind of be done with it. I say shave my head. I just kind of get a tight haircut all around. It's, it's just easier that way. What's it? A three all over? No, a two all over. Straight through the fringe, back inside. Don't, don't mess around. Don't leave Atten on my head. It would be fucking wonderful to. Oh my god, I gotta get that F out of the fucking way. It's taken three days. Three days to get a group for this shit. Oh man. Feels good, man. Feels good. Let's mount up. And uh, the question has been asked Does anyone have the mallet? Okay, Tenaris, Feralis, Feralis, Tenaris. Someone is saying they don't have the mallet yet. So, are they going to go do it? We could go get it. It's actually miles away, so no. Um, Any more Jew collectors? Damn, fuck. Right, we're, we might just hang around here for a second and keep killing these fuckers. Uh, actually, no. It's going to take me ages to get back up north. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make my way up north uh, really fast. If I see a Jew collector here on the way, I'm going to kill it. No, root shaper. Gnarled thing. Jew collector. Jew collector. There's one there. All right, we're going to kill this fucker, and hopefully he drops it before we, uh, you know what, we might kill this one, because it's a bit more out of the way than the rest of them, which means he's probably less likely to pull a load of mobs. So we may not get Gazrilla done today, which kind of sucks. Do you know what? Fuck it. Let's pull two of them. That's it. Let's go. I don't have evasion. But we don't need it. Why? Because this is Game of Era TV, and we don't we don't give a shit about evasions. We don't need your stinking dirty rotten evasions. Get an L eviscerate off there just before the end, so we can get as much damage across the two of them as possible. We'll definitely kill one. I'll definitely probably have to pop a potion of sorts here. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna give it as long as we can. Oh, oh, it's getting painful. Yeah, we're gonna pop a pot just so I can kill this one. Can we, can we do the things here? I'm gonna garrot this fucker. Or not. Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blind it. Or not. I thought it worked, but it didn't. Oh shit. No, now we've stalled too much. We're just gonna go for the eviscerate. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got a punctured jugular. I'm starting to remember doing this quest. That item has just brought back memories. This is gonna take a fucking while. The drop rate on this is shit from what I remember. Uh, it is actually coming back to me. I remember doing this on my fucking paladin because I remember I had that sword from fucking Sulfaric. I do remember. I remember doing this. This is gonna take ages. The drop rate is really low. Oh, shit. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just keep steaming away at it here. It's two of them are still in uh, Feralis, so so long as they are still in Feralis... Yeah, they're not even at the thing yet to fly there. So so long as they are still there, I'm going to stick here and try and grind out this quest, and then what will happen is when we get to... The, the instance... Oh, fuck. I'm looking for the ones that are off to the side, so that way they're a bit easier just to kind of poke. Rather than kind of uh, trying to pull three or four at a time, like a super ninja pro. Hang on. Okay, we'll just ease our way around here. Yeah, okay, GG. So yeah, we can't use bleeds on these fuckers, which is a bit of a pain in the tits. But it's gonna be fine. We'll manage. I'm not even sure if our poisons are doing damage. Yeah, it's immune, immune, immune. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. Kick. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. It's kind of making life hard here with the old question. And there's so many elementals in the, like that we've been trying to quest on in the past little while, like it's making it difficult. But hey, oh, we'll manage. We will manage. Persevere. We will fight them on the desert. More punctured juglands. Can you not just like be sound and just give me your jugland? I just hi Thistle Grub. I hear you've got a jugland thing. Uh, I actually need one. Uh, would you mind being like you know a bro and uh, cutting that off and just handing it to me? Sure, give away. Why not? I've got three of them. <laughs> Just make sure you don't kill any of me and my brethren. No worries, Jugland thing. No worries. 
that's what the conversation would sound like if I was to talk with this creature. There's another one. I know I should be killing the other things for the other quest, and you know what? I'll probably start killing them along the way, but I kind of want to get this one out of the way. It's too far away. Yes. Okay, let's not pull the nap. Yeah, okay, no, we're fine. Okay, I've hotkeyed move back to my mouse, the mouse button four, so I can replace auto run with it. Um, oh, that's not good. Oh, hey, yeah, fair play, you just saved me, Mr. Random Hunter. Thank you. Um, I've hotkeyed that to my mouse to kind of make moving around with my mouse a bit easier for me. If she knows. Uh, I use the dumb key for auto auto run here, like religiously, so that's never gonna change. So I don't really mind losing that. Hi, yes. No. Oh no. Troll sweat doesn't sell for that much. And now we are gonna very very quickly make our way back up to Gadget San, because um, my inventory is full and I'm about to go do a dungeon. Our dungeons drop gear, and I haven't got room for gear. Thank you, Mr. Hunter Iron Krig, or whatever your name is. Gentle Scholar. We'll come back here at another stage when we need to get this fucking thing done. Are they flying? No, they're not. Uh, we'll come back here later on. Now that we know this is the place that we need to be and we'll do the quest. You guys won't notice me running around like that. It'll be a bit of a pain in the ass for me, but it's fine. We got one of the quests done and out of the way, so we'll make our way up here and then we'll hand that in. It's going to be nice to get the five quests of uh, Zulfaric out of the way. Well, one, two, three, four. Yeah, well, we get four of them done. Uh, we won't be able to do that one because we can't summon Gazrilla, but it, it's okay. You know, we're... We'll just have to make do. I'll be happier just to get a group for it and uh, get some of it done rather than all of it. And what we'll do is, uh, if I can get another group for it on another stage that has the mallet, I will return and then I will kill Gazrilla, get that quest done, and also show off that part of the instance as well. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go to Gadget Sand and venture all this shit, so... Bleh. Okay, and here we are back in Gadget Sand, so really quickly we are going to sell some of the shit that's in our inventory. Eh, eh. Shift. Okay... Yeah, yeah, we'll never sell that, so it's fine. Who cares about that? Let's just get rid of it. Oh, yeah, we've got, like, so many herbs now that I can sell. Oh, God. I don't want to vendor that sort of shit, but if it comes down to it, we should. We'll need the room for the uh, the inventory. I, I know that that's for the Wild Hammer Clan thing. I don't give a shit. I'm not going to use it. Not anytime soon. Anyway, these haven't been selling, so I'm going to get rid of them now because I, I don't care. Whatever. They, their drop rate on them is ridiculously high. We have some of them in the bank. I already know this. Nobody's buying it. Let's just get rid of it. I don't already know this, so I'm going to hang on to it. That's a quest item. I like those. Oh, that's soulbound. Eh, goodbye. Eh. <laughs> what else have we got that's soulbound or anything of that nature? You should always try and auction house your bind on equips. Um, because you never know when they might actually sell and you might get something worthwhile out of them. That's cleared out a bit of room for us now anyway. So now what we do is we go hand in our quests and that should clear out a little bit more. So... The Thirsty Goblin. Sup, bud? That gets an item out of my thing, and now wants me to speak with Sprinkle. Alright, play this thing. Oh, no. Should I shave Sprinkle and make anything about the Keep it real! No bloody clue. Let's go hand this in. It's over here somewhere. It's fine. Let me go way over. Is this actually where it is? Oh, yeah, Sprinkle. And then there's got a, we've got a quest up here for the other guy. That, I don't know what he wants to do, but it's fine. Eccentric. Violet Dragon. Head to the hinterlands. Again? <laughs> it's fine. Well, we're going to have to go back there anyway to get the mantle for Gazrilla. So, you know, A. It's an excuse to go back there and then actually try and get a group together so that way we can get the um, mallet. Because I can't solo that shit. No way in hell. It's just not happening. Maybe if I got, like, a bazillion buffs and shit like that and I was maybe two levels higher, I could, you know, absolutely kind of squidgy it. Squeaky bum time. Just make it come together. But I really don't think it's going to... And that happened solo. He was running with his demise, not in vain. And then he was able to record with his surveying equipment. It seems that we have quite the situation in our hands here with these bugs. Okay, we're going to go to the uh, alchemist, which is here, here, one of these. It's on the map there, anyway, but he, is, he was winning one of these. I remembered that, so it's okay. Okay, let's go hand this shit in really fast. What's up? Insect park analysis. We may get another quest for Sulfuric here, you never know. That's why I'm kind of speeding through here. We're engaging in this satanic nation. Duplicate report for you to distribute to your allegiance. Deliver the port to thing. Okay, right, so we just go back to the same guy, pretty much. 
Okay, so we go back to Senior Surveyor Fizzle Madoodle, and we uh, hand this shit in. Money, friend. Thank you, I'm not thrilled about handing it. Right back. Okay. Wow. To Darnassus. Right. Okay, right. Anyway. It's fine. There we go. Yahtzee. That's out of the way. I'm going to check my mail real quick. I think that's just all the items from the auction house. I haven't put anything up new since, so I reckon that's what all that shit is. And then once we have done that, I am going to make my way over to the instance. And then from there, we are going to do a run through Zulfaric at last. Zulfaric. I can never get the pronunciation of that. Instant poison. God damn it, people sending me these. <laughs> Yeah, none of our shit sold. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, did you send me a message? I have a 52 poison ship me up at level 60. Could maybe try to fit you in a raid someday. Oh, thank you very much, bud. Can I use them? Damn, no, I can't. Level 44 poison. I can use those. Oh, damn. Gent and the Scholar. That actually is quite useful because I go through those like the plague. Hang on, we'll move our Essence of Agony over here and then... Okay. Uh, can you get over there? I think some of it actually stacked on the original one. Right, hang on. Oh. Thanks very much, bud. Hang on, it pauses. Okay. Now, oh, we're going to make our way over to the Zulfaric Instance. If you're wondering why I paused it there, it's so that I could actually, you know, have a second here without me making my stroke face or kind of going, well, thinking of something nice to say to somebody when they've done something like that for me. Okay. I don't mind people doing little things like that. Like, that's that's actually really fucking helpful, like, what's actually happening there. Like, that's actually saving me the bother of actually putting time into crafting the poison. And not only that, it's actually saving me a couple of quid and actually boing... Boing? Boing! <laughs> buying the, the mats to make the poisons as well. I don't like when people send me, like, fucking 30 gold and shit like that. Like, oh, here, bro. Uh, or actually, when they do that and they don't even send you a fucking message. That, that like, kind of, like... Again, it is a nice gesture, but, it, like, it's just kind of, like, eh... I feel bad about that. Whereas what's after happening there, I'll actually get great utilization out, out of those poisons. So I actually feel really good about that. That's really fucking awesome. So thanks very much for sending me those, dude. This isn't a thing now where I'm not encouraging you all to start sending me fucking 20 poisons and shit like that. Please, please don't. <laughs> but thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. Okay. Um, right, we're going to make our way over here. We're going to get this quest out of the V or the quest, the dungeon. Is everyone there? Oh, they are. Oh, shit. I, I've been dragging my feet. Okay. Ugh. Oh, wait. What the fuck did I click there? No, we're gone. We're fine. Nearly there. I think they're actually in there doing it. I don't know how long they were actually in there, but uh, I may not have realized while I was doing all the questy sort of stuff. Okay. Oh, all is there. Push it to the limit. Past the point of no return. We're just going to run straight in. I'm not going to bother with any of this shit. Oh, they're elites. I'm definitely not going to bother with any of this shit. Run away. Don't get dazed. It's going to be fine. I think they're all just buffing up and shit like that. So, rip! And we've made it. So, haha! -ha, this week we're here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like down below. And possibly consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about anything that happened in this video, leave it down below in the comment section. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Take your handy. Bye!